And since tonight is the night of New Year's Eve, maybe it's a good opportunity for us to sit down tonight and talk about what's the Islamic perspective on the New Year's Eve. Because a lot of Muslims mix, a lot of Muslims mix up with that, a lot of Muslims have the misconception of understanding the New Year's Eve and the celebration of New Year's Eve. A lot of Muslims growing up in the West think that's part of Islam and they don't even realize that. And maybe we were one of them when we were young, when we did not have the Islamic education awareness, or maybe our parents did not make us aware enough that these things are not permissible in Islam. Or maybe they themselves didn't even know. And this is the unfortunate thing that many people don't know. Many people think that Islam is just, uh, you know, this is Islam. It's part of Islam. We have Eid al-Adha, we have Eid al-Fitr, we have New Year's Eve, and we have also Christmas. So what does Islam tell me about those? Allah had replaced you a festival or a celebration better than those celebrations and festivals. And now you have better Eid, Eid set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not made up or innovated by any human being. Any other Eid, any other festival, any other celebration, it's not part of Islam. And it's not acceptable by Islam. Especially when a celebration is based on disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Especially when a celebration is based on prohibited matters. Especially when a celebration is based on the haram. These are no doubt are rejected. So in other words, as Muslims, do we have something called New Year's Eve? Yes, we have something called New Year's Eve. But we don't believe there's something called celebration of it. We don't, call, we don't believe of something called festival of it. We don't believe of something called we'll wait till the midnight where everyone else is awake waiting for the moment of haram and start disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe during those nights, during the nights of corruption, during the nights of disobedience, during the nights of fitna, during the night in which Allah Azza wa Jalla getting disobeyed, it's the night for us to distinguish ourselves in front of Allah. Now, Ya Allah, during a moment where everyone else is disobeying you, here I am, a servant of yours who obeys you. Here I am, a servant of yours who obeys you, Ya Allah. 